Hey Sweaty, I have another video tutorial for you guys on how to make custom characters in Fortnite Chapter 5. And today I was going to address one that I thought would be a little useful for everyone who's trying to get their sweaty skins to look a little more sweaty. Most of you guys have seen what looks to be the all black superhero skin. Now, you can't actually get an all black superhero skin, it's not possible, but you can get one that looks all black, and I'll explain what that is in just a second. And I'll show you guys on the male and the female skins, and currently in the item shop, you can get all of the superhero skins. For one, uh, one skin is 1800 V-Bucks, and so you can just get one. I have this one for the male, the hunter skin, and then this one for the female. And you can see here that, uh, and this one, I already have it kitted out, so I'll show you guys what that looks like and how to do that, because um, it looks all black. You can tell here up close that it's actually gray with black, but the way that we kit it out changes how that looks. And you'll be able to you'll be able to see how that looks. And in game, it's pretty awesome. Um, you can't even tell that it's not all black in game. You can even change the eyes so that they don't glow white. You can change them all black too. So you can black, black, black it out. And you can do that with a female too. So let's have some fun. If you guys do want to pick up the cape or anything else, um, the uh, any of these items, any of the signature styles, the battle passes, don't forget to use code TESOL Games in the Fortnite item shop. That helps me out big time. Just click search. Green check comes up, and that's how you know you're supporting me. So thank you guys very much. Now, let's go to the locker. So first, let's start with the female superhero skin. So what we're going to do is this. Just follow along. Click on locker. Go here to the edit styles. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to click this first pattern here and then we're going to go cowl on full mask and we're going to go belt off you can do belt on too but it looks cleaner with the belt off um, and this doesn't matter because when you have full cowl it covers the mask on or off so that's fine next we're going to go up here to the primary color for the primary color we are going to do um, we're going to do black and we're going to do plastic Okay, so black and plastic. Now, one thing you'll notice is the black, when you go to metallic, looks way darker. It is actually like black, like true black. This um, is much lighter. It's actually looking kind of gray. And uh, the spandex also is very dark. And the um, cloth is very dark. So in order from lightest to darkest, it goes plastic, then spandex, then cloth than metallic, metallic being the darkest. We're actually going to make the black look a little lighter by going plastic. So that when we go to our secondary color, we can take the next darkest, which is silver, and apply the darkest shade to it, which is metallic. So if you go to spandex, you can see the clear difference in the color. And here the plastic, clear difference, cloth, clear difference. But when we take silver with metallic, it gets much darker. And you can see that it actually almost makes the entire thing look like it's the same color. Pretty neat, right? So the shading here, the material, changes the way the color rests on the skin. So that's true of any of these colors. So if you want a color to look a little darker, you can just by making it metallic. If you want it to look a little lighter, you do plastic. And then cloth is a little bit darker and spandex is a little bit lighter. So. Um, these are just four ways to shade the, the skin. And so because of this, I'm going to just go over it one more time. Primary material is black. Make it lighter with plastic. Secondary is gr silver. And we're going to do metallic to make it darker. And that gives us this look. So to finish it off, all we're going to do is make sure our accessory color is also black. It doesn't matter because we don't actually have a, a belt applied. So it's not a big deal. Eye effects, you could turn this on or off. It doesn't matter. It's just how you want it to look. But if you want it to be sweaty and hidden, don't make it glow. In fact, I would make the eyes gray or I would make them black. And so like that, you'll have nothing glowing. And it's going to be much easier to hide if you're trying to just play like corners, shadows, you know, crouch somewhere, um, just not be seen. This is much easier for that. So I would do that, maybe gray. Um, and then you'll be looking pretty sharp. The skin tint doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for this one either. The hair tint doesn't matter because um, it's full cal. So for this one, I would just go no sticker at all. You can do whatever you want. So like if you have one you want to apply, go ahead and do that. But if you're trying to do the sweaty skin, you just do it with no 
no logo. And that's, that's how you do the sweat skin. So that's pretty easy, right guys? And then one thing I would keep in mind is that for the back bling, don't do a back bling, just do nothing. I would just do straight up nothing. And then that's the best way to do a sweaty skin is zero back bling. For the pickaxe, I would do something either really simple, like the default pickaxe, or something small, like a knife. I think the best one, and I think there is a best one, is the Solid Snake Carbon Fiber Knife. It's this one, probably the smallest pickaxe available, and it's dark gray. It is perfect for hiding. <laughs> Another one would be like Sokka's Space Sword because it's dark, but the, the cell shading on it might give you away if you're hiding in the storm. And there's a little shimmer on the end of the sword. So this one, honestly, the stun knife is the best. I think this one is the best one for sneaking, and it says that, part of the sneaking set. And it's uh, perfect. So that one, in my opinion, is the best. If you don't have that, just pick a small item. Don't pick anything huge. Um, and pick something that's maybe dark color or neutral, something that doesn't have an animation. That'll be really um, helpful to not have um, any kind of animation, no glowing, um, something really simple, like the Cybertronian Axe, which is the Transformers set. That's a good one. Um, maybe one of these, like three. Ah, oh, that's a little bright. Maybe not that one. You could do this one, the Sigil of the Empire uh, Vader's pickaxe. That's a very dark pickaxe. You could do the Fresh Fish, although I think... I don't know if that one, the animation might give it away. I haven't tested that, but um, maybe the Batman axe could be good. That one's a little larger, though. So the best one, in my opinion, is the stun knife right here. All right, so enough of that. For the glider, there is a little trick with this. With the glider, I would recommend an umbrella that, because they make usually make very little noise. This one is also gray. It's got a little bit of glowing with the orange. So that's a little, you know, if you're trying to be discreet, this is a good choice, um, but the best choice might actually be one might surprise you a little bit. It's this. I think it's this one here, the Cora's Air Glider, because it doesn't make hardly any noise. It has a little bit of a deploy sound, but the, the actual gliding itself is basically silent. And um, I think you'll still see a glider icon if you're using visual audio, but that's not an issue. I mean, like all of them have that, so it's not like different. But the actual sound of it, you can't really hear with your earphones. That's what I mean. And so um, the Resbrella is also very silent. It has a little bit of a glow to it, but it's very quiet. You hear that? Me neither. That's probably the most silent. So that's a great one. Um, yeah. Now, one little trick I'm going to point out to you guys. This is something that helps if you're fighting sweats who shoot you out of the sky. Pick a glider. If you don't care about being discreet and you just want to be hard to hit, then pick a glider that you stand on. Something where the glider is below you instead of above you because it blocks the visual of your character and people have a harder time aiming at you from the ground. So when you're gliding down after a reboot, it's going to make you a lot harder to hit if the, if the thing that you're riding is below you they won't be able to see you as easily they're guessing at that point so now if you're on the bottom of an umbrella they're going to be able to look right at your character but if you're standing on top of appa they're not going to be able to see you and so that's a little trick just keep that in mind there's a lot of them that you can stand on and um, that makes you much harder to hit this comet right here you stand on top of this skull you stand on top of this sword you stand on top of, the bike you stand on top of, um, the commander's descent you stand on top of, uh, this one right here, the magnetic steps you stand on top of. Now, if you don't care about being um, discreet and you're not just trying to hide, then I would go with one of the ones you stand on. If you do care about being discreet, I would recommend either the glider here or the resbrella because it's super quiet. Hear that? Me neither. So if that's what you want, just consider that, okay? I know that section took a little longer. I just want to drive that point home. And for the contrail, do none. That's the that's my recommendation. Um, so now, let's go back. All right, so that is basically what we have for that character. So that's the female. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and switch over and do the male. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I have a loadout for this one. So let me go here and just go to the default male. 
All right, so now let's go in here and edit styles. So from the default of the male, we're gonna just start here. Um, we're gonna go full cow, just like the female. We're gonna go mask off, belt off, and we're gonna choose pattern one. And then for this one, we're gonna do the same thing. So we go to primary, we go black, plastic. Secondary is gonna be silver with metallic. And again, the reason for that is because the black being a darker color, we're gonna brighten up. And the silver being a lighter color, we're gonna darken. And then it brings them basically to the same color. It's pretty cool. So that's really tight. Comes out kind of like a carbon fibery color. Um, the next step for this is going to be making sure that our accessory color is black. It doesn't really matter because there's no accessory belt and there's no accessory mask. Um, but for the eye color effects off, and again, I would do gray or I would do black. I think gray is probably the coolest looking in my opinion, but it's just up to you. Skin tint none, hair tint none, and then no sticker. And voila, look at that. Perfect. Just perfect beautiful. All right. So most of you guys are going to be using the female. The same thing applies for this one. For the back bling, it's none. For the pickaxe, um, my recommendation, if you have it, is the solid snake knife. And we've covered this already. I won't go over it again. And then again, the, the umbrella, you could either do a default, very quiet, um, or you could do the other one we talked about, which was the resbrella. I like the resbrella or something that you stand on. So the resbrella is really cool. Default's also good. And then the contrail, none. That's how you make a sweaty skin. And that's basically the whole tutorial. Now they really only restrict black on black. And I would love to show you guys that really quick is if you try to do black with black, they actually restrict you. So if I go black and black, you can see the bottom, it says conflicts when primary color is set to black. So you can't do that. So for the secondary, it's gotta be silver and metallic that's why we do this so yep that's pretty much it so thanks guys i um, really appreciate it and one more time if you guys don't mind like and subscribe we're well on the way to 5,000 subscribers so I make a ton of videos like this but also the live streams all the time i play with subscribers I'm trying to turn this into a business so i can support my family doing youtube and that would be really great um we're almost to monetization and so if you want just turn on notifications and whenever you see a video pop up, a live premiere, uh, a live stream, um, anything like that, YouTube short, just smash the like button and give it a watch if you can, if you have the time. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you. And uh, let's play some time, all right? And use code TSOLGAMES in the Fortnite item shop whenever you make a purchase or buy a battle pass. Really appreciate you. Thanks. Toodles.